welcome to my channel my name is mrs akala Manakankela, one of the damn, one of the judge, one of the pitori, Mama Lazi. Lazi, say hi because Lazi just decided to join us, guys. Eh? Yeah. As you can see, I'm with my lovely one here next to me. Hi, guys, how you doing? <laughs> and as you can see, with the topic, what are we talking about? Baby? I don't know, you just brought it up, you said something about intimacy after a kid. <laughs> You're talking about the prenyakos. Let's call it something. Let's call it what? Mm, fri not friendships. Let's call it ink. <laughs> Think of something unique. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I don't have an idea. <laughs> we can't say the word S. We can't say sex. Uh, what uh, can we say? Let's so call it eating jalof. Anash. No, eating jalof. Eating jollof. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We are going to talk about eating jollof after having a baby. Mm. Jollof, right? Yes. As you Princess. can see, as you can see, we've got a baby here. Mm. His name is Lazi. Guys, who does Lazi look like between me and Daddy? Let's see. Who does he look like? So, um, Mr. Akala. Mabel. How does the Brinyako feel like after having a baby? I just thought you said it's not Brinyako. Oh, sorry. I mean, <laughs> how does it feel like it's to eat jollof jello rice? Jello rice. Oh. Is it spicy? Oh. No, ma. Ah. Yeah. I mean, I thought it's... Okay. It's what? Jo, it's so spicy. Mm. I mean, I thought it was sweet like sugar. It's spicy now. You got the spice in it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, spicy, they say it's spicy. spicy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's got flavor. It's got some nice, um, you know, I, I no, don't worry. This okay. Is, so how does it feel like to eat spicy jello well, after it, having a baby? It's actually a nice thing to do, you know. Mm -hmm. Make sure you still understand that the plate that you are being served, mm -hmm. it's clean. Uh -huh. It has the, the specific quantity. Uh -huh. Of Yay. rice that you are eating, mm -hmm. and more so, obviously, when you are eating spicy rice that's got chili, <laughs> you go sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so my husband sweats think, every time he eats jollof, he sweats. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you can understand what that means. Mm. People, I'm gonna say it's tricky. Guys, right now, we don't just eat jollof. Please excuse me. Right now, we just don't eat jollof. We literally have to let's give him something to distract him. Sorry guys. Let's give him something. Guys, you see how we have to find tricks and trades? Even with eating jello it's like that. We have to literally sneak. Because mm. we've got um members. Mm. There's members now. Number you know? one. Commissioner <laughs> one, commissioner two. Yeah, we've got two commissioners in the mm. house. So when one is asleep, one is awake. When the other one goes to bed, the other one is awake. So we have to find tricks and tricks. I can say eating jello after having babies, you need skill. Bad one. You need some med skills. Crazy one, man. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be skillful. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you must stay up till late at night so that you can chop your jello. Mm. Right? Successfully. <laughs> Successfully without disturbance. Yes. Yes. Or important. else, if it doesn't happen, you are going to be this. You are going you to be involved. If one commission is asleep, another no. one is awake. They take turns. <laughs> anyway, so I just want to ask from a guy's perspective, would you suggest that it's a good idea for the husband, the father of the baby, rather, let me just say the father of the baby, to be part of the delivery process? Does it affect you spiritually, mentally, or is it a, a, an advisable thing for a guy to be part of the delivery? <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, it's not really a bad idea to be with your wife when mm -hmm. she's delivering. And I don't see it being a problem for you. Have I don't see why you should have a problem mm -hmm. psychologically. Well, it depends. <laughs> I've been a Niger guy, so I feel <laughs> we start by our, our, our woman, like, mm -hmm. you know, just that support. It, it's the first time, so you need to be there. You mm. need to stand strong for her, you know. Okay. Anything might happen, but then just mm. be there. So you feel like it's it's important, yeah. 
But for me, as a woman, well, there are women who don't want their partners to be part of their birth processes. I enjoyed it. I, well, you know, my births were different. I enjoyed it because I felt like, okay, if I'm tired, when you are there and you can see what is going on, I sometimes you can't even see your baby. You're tired. You don't recognize your baby. So they can just bring any baby to you and say, here's your baby. But I know my husband is there and he'll see the baby. And even if I, I can sleep, he sees whatever's happening. So yeah, it's actually nice. And it doesn't affect anything. Well, to others, I believe it affects others. The chopping of jello <laughs> does it affect if you go in there. <laughs> guys will be guys, man. Oh, it doesn't. Mm. So now, um, I can say that from a woman's perspective, nothing much has changed. It's just that now I know my body and I know who they are. This one can take a pounding. <laughs> like, I'm not scared of things breaking. <laughs> At first, you used to be like, yo, be careful. Like, you know, glasses will break. But now you know that. Nothing go break. Oh. Fiji 13. He Fiji 13. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, anything that you want to add? Nothing. She's right. I see the color down. And you know, people have asked me, Hore, is it true, Hore, Nigerians have a big um, cassava? The truth is, you heard what he said. He said, there's no difference. So do the mess. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, guys. It was a great time. Um, Basically, today's video was just me coming back. And just letting you guys know that I'm alive. not gone. We are alive. Strong. We're still together and we're still rocking this thing. I've been busy being a mom, but hey, I'm still here and I'm coming back with some strong content. Mm. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's soccer season, so you know, Uncle can't wait to go and watch soccer. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for joining me. You're welcome. Are you. Do you have any future plans of chopping any jollof anytime soon? Before. <laughs> See ya, no. Before. Bye, guys. Take care yourself. Be good. Please don't forget to like, share this video, and subscribe, just like I just said. That's Be why it's my husband. That's why. No time. Shout.